Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Now, we're having quite the heat wave in the UK at the moment. It's been going on for about a month. And yeah, I'm gonna be one of those typical British people and I'm gonna bone about it and say, it's hot. <laughs> and I'm struggling a little bit at times. So what I wanted to do today is share with you guys my summer shoe collection, but it's not my whole collection because I've got a lot of shoes, but it is my current favorite based on comfort and style and a few other factors, which I have essentially been living in for the past month in this glorious, beautiful weather. So shoe number one are these Topshop flats. Now these I featured in last Sunday's haul video. Um, and I hadn't actually worn them. I have now worn them so I can now comment on comfort. They are real leather, or real suede rather. They do also come in a tan leather. The tan is a slightly lighter shade. Um, and then the rest of like the sole here is all synthetic. But they're 18 pounds, which I think is incredible value for money. Uh, even despite the fact that there obviously is not much leather to them, but that makes them really, really comfortable. There's barely anything to these sandals. There are a few straps, obviously, it's a very strappy shoe, but that allows your feet to breathe, it exposes them to more cool air, um, it also exposes them to more pollution. So I actually wore these out in London the other day, and when I came home, my feet were black. <laughs> so yeah, pros and cons. Um, but they are, they were really comfortable. They didn't leave me with any blisters. Now, my second pair are my ATP Atelier Rosa Slides. These shoes I've been banging on about now for about two years. Um, I love them. I love them so, so much. They are comfortable. They're lightweight. They're breathable. They didn't rub me. Never once have they given me a blister. Um, the only thing I will note is that because the sole is super thin and it's also a leather sole, they do wear away quite quickly. They come in lots of different colours as well. I think net porto currently has them in about six different colourways, one of which, a metallic gold, is in the sale. So if metallic gold is your jam, check those out because they are a little bit cheaper. Um, but there are lots and lots of dupes for these shoes this season, some of which I've tried, some I haven't. But again, all of those will be listed down in the description box below if you can't quite stretch to the £150 price tag. Pair of shoes number three, and these are probably the pair of shoes which I get asked about the most and asked to review the most because they are the coveted Hermes Oran sandals. They're awesome. I love them. You guys see me wearing these on my Instagram all the time. I've had so much wear out of them. But <laughs> they were not initially very comfortable. And for anyone that's spoken to me on Insta DM or comments or on YouTube comments, will have had this same conversation. For about the first eight to 10 wears, they completely obliterated my feet. They shredded them from top to bottom. And I don't even know how, because your foot only goes in that bit, but they were mullered, absolutely mullered. However, once I broke through that pain barrier, through that like eight to 10 wears, they fast became an incredibly comfortable shoe. But yes, these are, quite a narrow cut. So if you have wider feet, or I'd even just say if you have average feet, you may well need to size up because of this area here, the bridge on your foot. However, in terms of length, I would say that they come up true to size. So I am a very tricky 40 and a half, and that is the size that I have these in, a 40 and a half, and they fit me perfectly. Now these ones come in at 485 pounds, or at least that's the starting point for the Oran range for the kind of basic, just plain leather. However, they do have quite a lot of new styles that are coming out in every single sort of spring summer season. They do bring out some jazzier options as well. Some with studs, some are patent, and there is also a heeled version as well, but for just the basic 485 pounds. But this season, again, like the ATP Ateliers, there have been a few dupes which have been brought out, which leads me to my next pair of shoes. Which are these? These have probably been the most popular shoe that I have had this summer, and they are an excellent dupe 
of the Hermes Oran slides. Now, funnily enough, these shoes actually start out more comfortable than those 485 pound shoes from the moment you buy them, or at least that's what I found anyway. Uh, we actually took these away when we went on the Disney cruise, and so I hadn't broken them in, I hadn't worn them at all. That was the first time I was wearing them. And I wore them for a day in Disney, and I also wore them for a day out around one of the Bahama Islands. The Bahama Islands? Yeah. Uh, that we walked around, and it was crazy hot there as well. So my feet were swelling up, and these were super comfortable. Now, they do have a slightly higher heel, which is good if you need a little bit more arch support. And another bonus of these is that the footbed is so padded, which I think is why they're more comfortable than the Hermes slides. Um, now they do come in about seven different colors. I think there's three mock croc options to choose from as well. And these are 80 pounds. So 405 pounds cheaper than the Hermes slides. Now my next pair literally arrived this week. This is my newest pair of shoes to my shoe collection. Um, and these are by a brand called Dear Francis, which is fast becoming my favorite designer shoe brand. Like I literally love them. I've got another pair of Dear Francis shoes coming up a little bit later in this video and I love them so much. But these are my, these are my latest pair. Now they are very much kind of like that traditional Birkenstock style, a little bit chunkier with the chunkier sole and this kind of molded footbed. Now obviously that kind of shoe has many comfort benefits. They are a bit more of a chunky design and this is a rubber sole, but they are actually really light. They're not chunky like and chunky and heavy like you'd expect. So you're not gonna be getting a leg calf workout as you wear these. They are really light. Uh, I, just, I honestly couldn't recommend them enough if you're looking for a really good basic sandal, if you like this slightly chunkier vibe. They are the most comfortable sandal that I own. They have actually taken the place of the ATP Ateliers in terms of comfort. And yeah, couldn't rave about them enough. Really, really awesome pair of shoes. Now I seem to have inadvertently put all of these shoes into a category. So all those ones that you just saw were kind of like a really good everyday shoe. Casual, dressy if you wanted to dress it up. Um, but the next, three pairs I have, I think could be termed as a slightly dressier shoe. I mean, look at these. These have got bejewels on them, so they're definitely a dressier option. I think I featured these in a previous haul as well. I just can't remember which one, but these are from Kirk Geiger and they are very much like a Roger Vivier kind of style. These are Comfortable to a degree, but because this grow grain is quite structured and also to keep this badge in place, this area here is a little bit stiff and it can rub a little bit on your toe. Again, this is gonna depend on the shape of your feet, but I personally found after about two, three hours, especially if it's hot outside, this does rub, or it doesn't really rub, but it causes a little bit of irritation just up here on the toe. But these were 129 pounds, so kind of, I would say, like mid price point. Now my next pair is another pair from Dear Francis. These are the bridge sides. Now I know I've kind of categorized these as the slightly dressier shoe, and I think that's just because they're very chic. They're very minimal, very basic. Um, but I have been wearing these a lot with some of my everyday casual outfits as well. So they double up as kind of both. And they are made from the softest suede. Again, like the Thai sandals, no rub whatsoever. From day dot receiving these shoes, they've never caused me any blisters, any pain. I've never had any irritation from them whatsoever. They're just... They're perfect. Now these are also a size 40. So I think that just goes for Dear Francis sizing. It does just come up ever so slightly a little bit big. They do have a leather sole. So just something to bear in mind because leather soles do require a little bit more maintenance in terms of they wear quicker. They're not so good with the rain, although I don't really see these as being a rain shoe. They're certainly not a festival shoe, are they? It's got a nice padded footbed and they're just a really good all-rounder. They go with anything. Just a simple, basic, chic, black shoe. Now these are $295, which comes out at around about 
£223-ish. Um, and so, yeah, it is a little bit expensive for quite a basic shoe. But as you guys know, I do like to invest in very classic basic pieces which aren't particularly trend-led because those are the items which stay in my wardrobe year after year after year. And these are such amazing quality that I know I'm going to have these for years to come and I'm going to be able to whip them out every summer without fail. My next pair are from a brand called Ray, which is a Revolve brand. And these were $200, which is around about £150. Um, now, the good thing about Revolve is that your duties, import duties or taxes or whatever, is included in the price already. So there's also free shipping to the UK if you're not in the US. Us people in the UK, we're not always so lucky to have Revolve, but now we do and we have free shipping. So woohoo! Um, now these are super comfortable satin shoes when they're not structured like this they're very floppy <laughs> are crazy comfortable the only drawback is that they are tricky to clean otherwise really comfortable padded footbed this area here super soft satin so no rub no blisters no nothing now i don't often tend to wear heels in the summer i might wear my chanel slingbacks if i'm feeling a little bit dressier but otherwise i don't tend to wear heels summer when it's hot you just kind of want to wear flats and you just want to be comfortable but i do have three pairs of what i would term heels i mean that's not really a heel um, coming up to show you guys. Now these ones again I featured in Sunday's haul and these are the super cute, I would say that's like a Mary Jane kind of style from Topshop. Now these are red croc, red mock croc by the way, they're not leather um, and they were £29 which is really really good value for money. They've got this really chic if you can see that kind of flared out heel and it's a block heel as well so they're really comfortable if you're allowed to wear open toe shoes at work this could be a nice very smart chic summer alternative got a nice padded footbed as well and this strap is also not very stiff it's quite soft and supple and so that doesn't really cause any irritation now my next pair are from mango and you might have seen these over on my instagram these were $69.99 at full price. However, they went down in the sale and they went down to $29.99. I've checked them on the UK Mango site. They're already sold out in all sizes. So apologies for that, folks. But maybe go and have a look in store to see if you can nab these because they are a bargain. They're pretty comfortable. This, of course, is a bit of an acquired taste and an acquired texture, I guess you could say. It starts off a little bit rough and a bit scratchy. Underneath there is some panelling, which of course avoids this raffia from touching your skin too much. The only area I would say that I had a tiny bit of discomfort was out of this top toe section. So similar to the Kurt Geiger ones, because this is a bit stiff and structured, there is a little bit of irritation that can be caused up there, but they go with lots of linen, good to wear with jeans, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Really good shoe if you can manage to get your hands on them. Now, this wouldn't be a summer shoe video if I didn't have a pair of espadrilles to show you guys. And the ones I have here are my current favourites. They're by a brand called Manibi. 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 So the ones that I have are suede and that makes them really, really comfortable. They're lined with leather in here as well, so super, super soft. Um, this footbed is also so padded. It's like having a mattress for your foot. It's crazy padded. Now I have these in a size 41, so I've sized up, which I think I could have probably got away with a 40 and a half. Um, a 40, sorry, because they don't do half sizes, um, because this back section is cut out, but I just erred on the side of caution because the toe is covered. They are 130 euros, so I'm not really sure what that is in pounds at the moment, because I think our exchange rate is just shocking. It's almost like level pegging. So yeah, mm, I'd say that's kind of like a mid-range price point. So yes, final pair of shoes, Espadoodles from Manaby. Right guys, that is it for today's summer shoe favourites 
video, whatever we've decided to call it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a favorite pair of shoes from within this video, let me know which ones they are. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys on Tuesday for my next weekly vlog. Bye. Fluttering about like what she normally does, so yeah. So I want mine. Thanks for that. Darn it. <laughs>